CICD pipeline is a series of steps that are performed in order to deliver a new version of a software. Continuous integration and continuous delivery pipelines are a practice focused on improving software delivery using DevOps. In this video, we will be covering using ARM template, create and manage pipeline, manage Azure deployment tasks, Azure deployment approval, check log and results, deploy and run website. Please check the description below for more information. In the end, we will also share details about a free Azure DevOps Engineer Masterclass, which will not only help you understand basics, but it will also give you an idea of the learning path to follow. It would be helpful, especially when you're preparing for Azure DevOps certification, that designing and implementing Microsoft DevOps solution AZ400, which will earn you DevOps Engineer Expert certification. As a prerequisite of this certification, one should be certified Azure Administrator or Azure Developer. Welcome to another episode of Azure Video Series from K21 Academy, where we take you from complete beginner, covering integrate logging and monitoring to all the way, defining and implementing a continuous delivery and release management strategy, including continuous integration, source control, and security, as well as how to prepare for the Microsoft Azure DevOps Engineer Certification. We have taken a clip from one of our certification training program on designing and implementing Microsoft DevOps solution. That's AZ400. And in this clip, a Microsoft certified trainer will talk about deploying a website using CICD pipeline. Now, let's hear from an expert trainer. So in this lab, we'll be seeing a complete end-to-end -end CI CD pipeline with all the features that we have seen till now. So we will be starting with import of job. So this is going to be your complete website. So which is having your front end website and then there is a middleware and there is a database backend and everything we are going to create it using an ARM templates. So there will be an empty data center in Azure. So we are just going to create a new SQL database. We are going to create a new website. We are going to create a complete set of uh, website in less than 15, 20 minutes. So which is going to be from zero to hero in 15, 20 minutes. So as usual, log into Azure DevOps demo generator. And then as I was telling you about, just choose this particular template, like just go to general and you can choose any of the templates. So this is my favorite. So I just chose this my health clinic. Next time I'll show you about smart hotel as well. But this time let's choose this health clinic and then choose the name of this and click on create project so it will automatically get your project created and once if your project is created you can actually see this demo health clinic project created or which is generated from azure devops i just go inside and then when i click on this files i can see list of all the files being imported and then when i go to the pipelines i can even see the pipelines is being created automatically by it so i'm just clicking on edit and i can see list of all the steps that has been auto populated from there and if you see here it also has a white source bolt and this ARM template checker so by default it is disabled so what I'll do is like next time when I run it I'll make it as enabled so that since we are using an ARM templates so this security tool automatically scans your ARM templates and it tells you whether it has a vulnerability or not but let us stay with this white source bolt and then when I queue it it automatically runs the complete pipeline and if you see the last pipeline it actually ran it and it took around 10 minutes and when I click on the success it sees all the steps has been created and everything okay so this has been done and when I go to this artifacts I can see artifact is being published which is 20 MB and it is going to be your ARM templates and then this zip file which is created out of our build and the test files and everything so now when we go to the release pipeline we can see like it is actually capturing the artifacts out of it so this is the artifacts that we are trying to take it from the build pipeline and here i have this continuous integration or continuous deployment trigger so when i click on this trigger automatically when the new build Really, uh, new build is completed the release will be starting and I can even choose which branch I want so by default I actually wanted this for a master branch so I can choose a master branch over here so that whenever the master branch CI has been started the CD for this will be started so if any other branch is started then 
the CD will not start for the particular one so I can even use those kind of filters over here and I can use an include an exclude whatever I wanted to do I can just do it okay and this is an option called as your release gates okay so here what I can do I can just choose a manual option manual in the sense like whenever I wanted to start I can come over here and then I can click on deploy and start if it is after release then automatically when the build is completed the release will be starting automatically and I have an option called as pre deployment approvals which is since it is actually going to a production so I need someone to approve it only then it actually deploys into the production if not it will not deploy into the production so I can choose the names whoever wanted to approve it and there is also an option called as release gates so this release gates is nothing but it has multiple options if you see I can check any policy whether it is compliance or not I can invoke any function I can start any REST API or I can even query certain work items like whether everything is zero before I start this production deployment or I can even check the monitoring alerts as well so these are all the default gates that is available for us so we will see like how do you check the query items and then start the release but for time being i'm not having this gates i'm just having only the pre-deployment approvals with me and i'm just choosing my name as an approver okay and now when i go inside this job i can see actually the different things over here so i'm just choosing azure pipelines and then i'm choosing the windows option because since we are using ARM templates i'm just using your pipelines and then windows option over here and this is going to be your resource group department which is an ARM template department okay so by default i'm just choosing the subscription over here and for us it is needed to create and update the resource group and all these are variables the resource group the location and this ARM template.json and the parameters i'm just trying to take it from the artifact section if you see on the artifacts i showed you we have copied this arm templates so this is going to be your main file and this is going to be a parameter file so i'm just choosing those two things and these are all the extra parameters that i need to give as part of my arm templates and i'm just choosing the deployment mode as incremental complete or validation which means till how many ever steps it is completed next time when you run it it continues from where it has left if I choose complete every time it does a complete installation and if I choose validation only it just checks the validation it will not install or deploy the next is going to be my website deployment which is going to you called as Azure app service deployment so here also I'm just choosing a subscription for this and then I'm just choosing a type as web app you can see multiple types of web app function app Linux app so I'm just choosing a web app and I'm just giving the website name and then I'm just choosing this zip file which is coming as an artifact from the build if you see here last time we have this zip file which is coming as an artifact so this zip file we are going to deploy it as part of our web apps and after the deployment is completed i'll go to the web apps and i'll show you it will be residing on our www path okay so now when you save it and then how do you start a release so you just need to click on create a release okay and then it automatically chooses the latest build artifact i just need to click on create now what happens as i told you since it is actually a production it will not start it will ask you for an approval see here it is actually saying pending approval so since i am an approver what i can do before starting the production release i can come and check okay if everything is fine is the downtime all the things are done and there's a client has been approved for this everything is done so okay then what i can do you can click on this approve button and i can give a comment for it so if there is any particular ticket or something i can just give approve and then i can click on approve so now what happens the thing is approved and then automatically it is processing the gates at present we don't have any gates now what happens it is actually trying to start the release so once after the release is started then we will be seeing what is an output is created and then in the azure you can see there are no new resource groups and websites created so it will automatically create a resource group it will automatically create a sql database it automatically creates your connection between sql database and websites it automatically create your new website it deploys the code and then finally we can see a website for health cleaning up and running okay it takes around 15 20 minutes for the creation so we were looking about this end-to-end -end health clinic demo i was telling you last time like we had this pipeline creation done and the pipeline has been completed with all the steps and we have even seen the release pipeline where 
we will be seeing that artifacts is being copied from the build pipeline and then we have this deployment approvals and last time if you see i have also given an approved button and i told you like the step will take around 20 minutes for us to run it and if you see here the production has succeeded now and this is the first step which we have done it which is pre-deployment approval and then when we click on view approval you can see what is approval that we have given and then the next one is like the logs if you see here first it is trying to initialize the job and then it is trying to download the artifacts and here is where our azure deployments lies so this azure deployment actually follows that arm templates and the parameters over here so it automatically creates us a resource group and everything that i will be showing it on your azure portal and then it does an azure app service deployment so this is your website deployment okay so now when i go to this azure portal i can go to this resource group and here we can see the demo health clinic resource group and under this demo health clinic resource group you can see the sql server is created app service plan is created this is a website created and all these are application insights created and you can see the development staging and all these areas of sql server has been automatically created now when i go to this particular website called as demo health cleaning and then when i try to click on browse it should actually give me a website of that health clinic so this is how you are actually creating an end-to-end -end website creation in less than 20 minutes from having a zero environment to your complete productionized environment as we'll see now my website is up and running so i can click on any of our buttons and any of our things so it automatically does all the things over here so i can still have this url being pointed out to my custom domain name and i can just use xyz.com whatever i want to do if i don't want to use this as your websites.net i can then go to this particular website and here is an option of custom domains i can go to this custom domains and i if i have any custom domain myself i can just click on add and then i can add this particular things to my custom domain and i can even add my https certificate also over here so that instead of this azure websites.net i can just give like xyz.com so this gives you a complete idea of how are you trying to create an entire website with the sql database and everything in a single area so now when i click on this login it actually shows me the login screen and whatever the areas that you're going to create like if you're going to create a new username and password it automatically logs into your database so this is a complete working end-to-end -end website and similarly you can go to this azure DevOps generator and you can choose all these templates this is a hotel booking website and this is a trading website and this is going to be your shuttling website and this is going to be your air booking website so everything you can try it by importing it into your azure devops and then creating a proper service connection it will work as easy as possible okay so just try these things then let me guys know like if you face any issues so that was a clip taken from one of the lessons from our step-by-step -step training program microsoft azure devops engineer az 400 i would like to invite you for a free 90 minute session with our microsoft certified expert trainer where we talk about the azure devops engineer training and share information about getting certified by using our step-by-step -step roadmap to go from complete beginner to a certified azure devops engineer if you're interested register for a free class by going on to k21academy.com slash az402 additionally we will show live demo of blue green deployment with azure app service we will also share information about the certification exam so you can register for free by going on to this url k21academy.com slash az402 i will see you in another episode of azure video series from k21 academy till then Take care.